Hey Tribe and Laker here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about identifying the right aquarium for your leads. So a lot of entrepreneurs are targeting the wrong place to find their leads. So you might be targeting leads on Upwork or Fiverr, and then you end up really not finding customers and you just end up not finding them, not because often your sales process is terrible, not because you're such a such a bad entrepreneur but often because you're targeting wrong place so really let's stay let's take one step back here uh, before we take few steps forward to get those sales for you so the step you want to take back is to identify where your customer avatar hangs out and i use analogy of a fish aquarium so let's use your customers analogically as fishes swimming now think where they are so you might be targeting let's say some niche that is industry based on upwork and you're not gonna find leads there because usually industry specific uh, companies are not looking for freelancers on upwork you're more likely to find them on linkedin so let me give you the framework here the first thing you want to do is you want to identify where your customers are on the customer journey. So they might be not aware of the problem and not aware of the solution, then they will not even go to Fiverr or Upwork to look for your services. Then you need to approach them. And then the way to find those fishes in this scenario would be uh, approaching them on LinkedIn or with paid advertising. So that's example number one. Now let's look at another example once we move farther down the customer journey. So the second uh, step on the customer journey could be the customer being aware of the problem but not aware of the solution. So again, they don't know that the solution to their problem would be to do this and that. So they're probably not going to look for this on freelancing platforms. So similar example, either ads or LinkedIn. Now, when we go to third step, you're going to find customers aware of the problem and aware of the solution. And this is where they might get to freelancing platforms. But now you're really missing out on good customers because you have people who already know exactly what they want and they basically going to pay you much less because they can even be aware of the competition and all the other people out there. So really you're getting just breadcrumbs if you're on Upwork or on Fiverr because you get people who already want a specific solution to their problem given their uh, customer uh, path, the, the, the customer journey. Now, the key thing to understand here is that not really you cannot target customers who are on Upwork or customers who are on Fiverr. That's just a side note that you're going to make less if you're going to do that. But the key thing to understand here is that you need to look for your customers in the aquarium that they are hanging out at. Okay, so to understand that you need to first think where they are on the buyer's journey when they are buying from you this will make it easier for you to identify the aquarium so don't use your energy don't use your effort to target leads on upwork and and, and not finding anyone looking to hire you because you need to be 100% aware and conscious what kind of people are gonna be looking for you on Upwork. So just an example here, because understanding your customer avatar is absolute key to money making. So if you're on Upwork, you're gonna find people who are looking to outsource something. So you're gonna be at the end of the food chain. So in this example, this would be very end of this customer journey. So usually those would be agencies outsourcing to you, or those could be some small business owners looking to start um, their company, or they could be even employees looking for some specific thing. So for this reason, if you use Upwork, you're gonna find fishes in this aquarium, such as Zapier integration or Python, people who look for specific specific technologies, but you need to be aware that when they are on Upwork, they usually know what they want. Now, this is the aquarium that you target with a specific technology niche. Now, if you target a specific industry, for example, 
dentist, which I don't recommend, but that's an example. If you target a specific industry such as dentists or lawyers, which I again don't recommend since it's too broad, but if you target these, then obviously they're not going to be just hanging out on Upwork. You need to really look into a different aquarium. So really take the step back and identify where your fishes swim. To do that, you need to understand who you are targeting, whether this is a niche in technology or whether this is a niche of industry. Now, once you do, you need to really clarify where they are on the customer journey. And then only based on this, you can pick the right lead generation source. I hope this helps. If you want to learn directly from me, go to tribalmastermind.com. It's a community of entrepreneurs where every day we work with beginners who are starting their companies, converting from freelancing to entrepreneurship to help them start a business and get to 10k in less than 12 months. And then we get them to 100k. So if you are not yet aware of what tribal mastermind is then go to check this out at tribalmastermind.com because this is going to be completely mind-blowing to you so go to tribalmastermind.com thanks for tuning in to watch this video and i see you tomorrow